Hi Katie, hi YouTube. It is Friday. It is the start of a new thing that I might be doing fairly often. Fan Fiction Friday. Which is where I read a fan fiction that someone gives me, in this case it's my roommate Liz, having not read it and only kind of knowing the title because I have the link on my Skype. Fan Fiction! Fan Fiction Friday! <laughs> I just read the, the descriptor. And the title of the fanfic is Only Armstrong May Sparkle. It's not Lance Armstrong, by the way, for all of you guys who were hoping for that, it's not. The description says, title says all, period. Armstrong versus Edward, sparkling man versus a glittering pixie, because vampires can't sparkle. Extreme twilight bashing, crime because vampire sparkling is against the law. So, without looking at that, I can assume that it is Full Metal Alchemist and Twilight. Ah, oh, yeah. I'm just, like, preparing myself for it. <laughs> There's a great plot twist. Oh, well. oh, jeez. Like less than 500 words. There's a plot oh, twist. Geez. Edward's amber eyes stared blankly at the enormous man in front of him, his skin sparkling, quite literally, in the sunlight. The said man, Alex Louise Armstrong, stared back down at him with curiosity, his single hair pointed upwards. What, may I ask, are you doing? Armstrong said. I'm a vampire. I sparkle in the sun. All vampires do that, Edward replied. Oh, whoa, the mention of me being a vampire takes me back to my love. How tragically we were separated, he continued with his angsty rambling. Armstrong narrowed his eyes. Vampires burn in the sun, young man. No, they sparkle. I sparkle, but I'm not a vampire. Armstrong buffed out his chest. Uh, I think you mean puffed. Sir, ma'am. You're not sparkling, Edward retorted. Armstrong's eyes were covered by a dark shadow. A spotlight that came out from nowhere shone on him. A man must be strong in order to sparkle. Armstrong lifted up his arms and ripped his shirt off. You, my dear boy, are not strong at all. I know of strong men, and you are not one. Armstrong, shirtless, started to sparkle. However, since he is a million times cooler than the glittering fairy princess, his sparkles were cooler. Edward rolled his amber eyes. Then he felt something trickle over his body. He looked down and gasped. He was in his underwear. And that day, he decided to deck out and door the Explorer boxers. Darn the world, Edward screamed. I can't find my clothes. Cedric Diggory walked up. That's Harry Potter, sir. Ah, if you were me, you could find your clothes. Armstrong blinked in surprise. Mr. Cedric, how nice of you to be here. Cedric smiled and waved. Boys, just smile and wave. I think that's a Harry Potter reference. Right? No. Where's it from? Oh, that... Madagascar, is it Madagascar movie? Maybe. Penguins? Yeah. Madagascar, okay. Cedric smiled and waved. Boys, just smile and wave at Armstrong. Flashing his brilliant teeth. How are you, Armstrong? Good, thank you. Is everyone just forgetting me? Edward shrieked. Armstrong looked at Cedric. Cedric looked at Edward. Edward Cullen was never seen again. What? But he was... There was... What? I don't... I... Um... Okay. But vampires... It... Okay, the title said something about vampires being against the law. But there, there was nothing in this story about that. That was weird. So, there you go. That's the first one. If you guys want, I can continue this. Katie's coming up eventually, so uh, we can sort of work this into our whatever we're going to do when she gets back, because I have no idea what we're going to do when she gets back. I'll see you next week. Goodbye. Uh, giant hand. Perspective. Perspective giant hand. There's probably not going to be enough time in this video for this part. No. Maybe. Uh, maybe.